Hi, my name is Peter Schlosser. Um, I am a composer for film, television, and video games. Um, I guess you could reorder that at the moment and say video games, television, and films. That's sort of what I'm working on now. Um, I've been working, uh, writing music on the Destiny 2 uh, franchise for the past about two and a half years. And I'm about to start a TV show. I did a documentary about Saturn, the planet, which is actually made from actual pictures from satellites and from probes. And um, so that's where I am at now. One of the first movies where I, where I realized that was um, when I was a, a kid and I was watching 101 Dalmatians, especially because there was a, you know, the, one of the main characters, Roger, is a guy who writes music for a living. Um, and there's a, there's a very great scene where he starts to play as Cruella de Vil, the villain of the movie, is in his house. So he kind of starts to score the moment of what's happening in his house. And I just thought that was really amazing and brilliant. And then, of course, you know, you move on a bit later to Star Wars and then you go, oh, my God, this is just mind blowing. It's, it's such a different animal to, to writing for television and, and films only because a lot of the stuff that we're writing is, um, it, it's nonlinear. So we're not, we're not following every beat of what happens because you, you know, as you're playing, it's hard to figure out what, what's going to happen. What's interesting though is consoles have, have been, ha are now so sophisticated where we can write the music in a way where depending on what's happening, the, the console can grab different pieces of music. So we write them in a modular way. It's still linear, but it's modular. So you can grab different pieces from different sections, depending on what's happening in the game. And it's also layered. It's, it, it's modular this way. It's modular this way, where you have different layers of things going on, depending on what's, what the player is doing and what's happening on screen. And I, I think that's really, that is all sort of beyond me as how it's implemented. That's for really, really smart people to do. I just, I write the music in a way that they can then manipulate it that way. As artists, as creative people, it doesn't matter what field you're in, whether it's music or art or, or you know, fine arts or whatever, we, we're always striving for something that's better. And it's really, it's really great to have somebody go to stop, that's really good. You know, because we can, we, if we if we had our way, we would probably never ever finish writing a piece of music because we would be revising it over and over.